Hey guys, it's Sarah here. So today I'm going to be doing a little review on the new NARS powder foundation. So it's this one here. It's called the All Day Luminous Wear all day luminous powder foundation so this is what it looks like I bought it a couple weeks ago and I have the color Siberia which is the lightest one I am wearing it right now so you guys can take a look at how it looks on I do have like illuminator and everything on top of it so it's not quite that glowy but just so you can get an idea I have it on um, and just so you know all the opinions in this video are completely my own and don't necessarily reflect the views of Sephora just so you know um, so this powder comes in 12 different shades which have corresponding names to the sheer matte and sheer glow foundation so this one's Siberia and it goes through some of the shades if not all of them I'm not too sure um, of the sheer matte and sheer glow it's $48 Canadian it has no parabens oil alcohol and it is uh, non comedogenic personally I don't really know if I believe in that claim so much I mean it's supposed to mean like it doesn't clog your pores or give you acne I think um, but I feel like that doesn't really I don't know. Personally, I think claims like that don't really mean as much. I think makeup is so like trial and error sort of thing, but I don't know. Let me know what your experience is with that if you've had any good ones or bad ones. Um, so this is supposed to have 12 hour wear. It's supposed to be a velvety medium coverage. It has SPF 25 PA++++ and I think that is the best well, the most amount of pluses that you can get. Maybe it's four, but I think it's just three. Um, it's supposed to be sweat proof and you can apply it wet or dry. So basically, I know that I have said in the past that I hate powder and that's kind of true, but there's several that I can I can love and live with. And NARS has, has been a brand that I really love for their powder foundations because I find them so soft and smooth. They don't dry you out or like settle into the fine lines and cracks of your skin. Um, so I have really enjoyed them and I used to use the old powder foundation or powder by NARS um, and this one I don't know it doesn't really have a name on it but I have the color Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc. my friend always says that I pronounce that wrong I'm like Ooh, I'm Canadian I should be saying French stuff right but anyways um, so yes I have this one I've had it for a while and I really did love this one as you can see I've almost used it all up it's a little dark for me right now um, but yes, so I do have a lighter shade, but I actually prefer this one so I can see why they chose to replace it They didn't replace it with something worse. It's it's actually a lot better So I love it and as soon as I saw the name I was like yes I need that anything you, you pop luminous into any Product name and I'm just like yes, I'm buying that. So anyways, uh, yes I got it and I have been wearing it wet and dry and I like it both ways right now I have it on dry and I applied it with the real techniques brush here the Duo Fiber Face Brush, and I like this one for powder because it's really, really super loose. So I like a light coverage with my powder because I generally tend to get the coverage I want for my concealer and my foundation or whatever I'm wearing that day. So I've been using it like this sometimes if I want, if I'm just using it dry. And sometimes I have been using it wet with my damp beauty blender, which I freaking love. And it doesn't like affect the top layer of the powder. Sometimes, you know, when you use it wet, it sort of makes it like funny or like harder afterwards this does not happen to that which is great because they said you could use it wet so that makes sense right um so i love it and i really do think you can get a buildable coverage with this i think it looks great it does have a bit of a luminosity which is pretty i'll kind of go in close the lighting is awful i'm sorry i had to like bring the lights in so close to my face because it is at it's nighttime right now or well it's not even nighttime it's just like super dark out there but anyways uh ramble 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 um, but yeah, I love the way it looks. I find the coverage is smooth and yes, velvety. It's not, it's not like a, I mean, it's a powder so it's not like dewy or anything, but it is luminous. It brings light to the skin, it brightens, it's not mattify, which is what I'm look, not what I, that's not what I'm looking for, so I'm glad it doesn't do that. Um, but yeah, it does wear all day. It extends the wear of my foundation as well because I'm just setting it with a powder, of course. So. I'd say that that 12 hour wear is definitely accurate. I love it, I would buy it again, and I have been enjoying this powder a lot. And compared to the old packaging, I much prefer this one. It's so much more like purse friendly and small, so I really like that. And they have the exact same amount of product inside of them, so yeah, why not make it smaller and cuter, right? I feel like they have been nailing their packaging lately. I just love it, and the lipstick that they launched, ugh, yes. I love it, I love NARS. NARS is my favorite brand right now. Yep. It used to be Tarte, but now I'm all about NARS. You can't mess with the NARS, okay? So I give this a 5 out of 5. There's really nothing that I don't like about it, I don't think. I like the way it's nice and light, long-wearing, 
brightens and brings light to the skin. I'm down for it. All right, well, I hope that helps. I hope uh, you guys will try it out if you want that kind of a look. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Skells Makeup exactly the same way it's spelled down below. Mwah! And have a great day. Comment, like, subscribe.